How you doing? Justin here. Hopefully you've done a little bit of practice and you've got your D chord sounding really cool. So because I don't know any songs at all that have just got one chord all the way through, I guess we need to learn another one. And this next one we're going to check out is the chord A. Now, there's quite a few different ways of fingering this chord. And the one that I'm going to show you, that the one that I think is the best now, isn't the one that I learned. So sometimes you'll see me playing A chord another way. But the way that I'm going to show you works really, really, really good for swapping between your D chord and your E chord, which is one of the biggest problems that you have when you're a beginner is changing between the chords. It's not actually playing the chords, but we haven't got to that yet. <laughs> You've still got to discover that horrible bit of uh, learning the guitar, the, oh my God, I can't move my fingers fast enough stage. But we'll get there very soon. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the, the, my recommended way of playing an A chord. Then I'm going to show you a couple of alternatives that maybe you've learnt before or whatever. And if you really want to do one of those other ones, then, then do it. But I will hopefully give you enough good reasons to play the A chord with my suggested fingering. Um, so let's go to a close up and uh, check out the A chord. So here we are for a little close look up at our A chord. Here we go. So. The first thing we're going to do is go through the fingers and get the fingers in the right places. Now, first thing you'll notice is first finger is actually in the same place as it was for our D chord. But we're going to have to put it back a little bit. So it would be nice to have it right up close to the fret, but unfortunately we can't. So start with this one in the middle of the fret, and I'm going to explain why in a second. So that's our first finger. Pretty easy. Second fret, third string. Then second finger is going to reach over the top. And see, this is why we had to leave the space there. So we've got space here for the second finger to go in the fourth string, second fret. And then third finger is sneaking also into the second fret, but on the second string. So you can see they're all kind of getting a bit squashed up here. Now, you'll notice here that the second finger and the third finger are both really close to the second fret, which is great. And only the first finger has to be back a bit. And this is the fingering for an A chord that I really recommend. Now, the, the traditional approach, which is the one that I did, is like this, with fingers one, two, and three all in a row. Now, you can see that we can't get our second finger much further forward anyway, because third finger's in the way, and it means that first finger is miles back from the fret, and we'd have to press that really hard to, in order to get that note to come out clear. Very likely, it's going to sound like this. You're not going to get that note sounding very clear. Whereas if now you just see we swap first and second fingers over, look, straight away we can get those two fingers up close and first finger you can kind of sneak it up the, sneak it up the back there with the first finger to try and get it as close to the fret as we possibly can so that's the old approach i think this is a much better approach some people even prefer to do it like this with fingers two three and four particularly if they've got really big fingers some people find that a little bit easier now i'm not a big fan of this method it's possible because so, so long as you press down the dots you're okay but I really, really recommend that you do this fingers one on the third string, then reaching over with the second finger, and then the third finger. So now what we're going to do is remember that we check out each note one at a time. We do the strum, pick out and strum, and make any corrections that we need to, to make sure that every note sounds good. This is really important. Also, by looking at the neck diagram there, you can also notice that we shouldn't play now the thicker string, because it's got a little X at the top. So we're not going to play the thicker string. So we're just going to start our strum from the fifth string, strum down. And now as we go to a close-up, we're going to check out the possible things that might make the notes sound funny as we do one note at a time. So. There's your open A string. If there's a mistake there, it means that your second finger's up too far, so bring it down. Should be an easy note to get. Next note is the note with our second finger on, which is on the fourth string. We want to make sure that's nice and clear. There's not really too many things that can make that note go wrong, so that one should be easy. Next note. Now, what you may find is, because your first finger's back quite far, that you get this kind of sound. Now, that's only because the finger is so far away from the fret, the only way that you're going to fix it is to try and bring it closer to the fret if you can, and also to press harder. Even if you're right back, if you press really hard, you will get that note clear. So try and sneak it up as best you can, and then press a bit harder with that first finger if that note's a bit causing you problems. Third finger shouldn't be giving you any grief. Just make sure it's nicely seated. Make sure it's not on the fret, because as soon as you get on the fret, 
gets a bit dead. Behind the fret, nice and clear. If it's on the fret, kind of goes a bit dead. So make sure it sits behind the fret. Now, last one is the E string. A lot of people have problems with the E string because the third finger here touches that E string. It's all fingers touching the wrong strings. That's most the cause of most of our problems. So we want to make sure that that third finger is nice and round. See, you can see that all of the fingers are kind of arched around. Don't let your fingers do this like they're too flat. That's always going to lead to problems. Nice and round. And that should lead you to have a nice A chord.